Hello and welcome back everybody. In this lecture we are going to prove the existence of a local base. So let x be a topological vector space. And suppose you have a sequence of real numbers. Delta 1 is bigger than delta 2, is bigger than uh, delta 3, and so on. And uh, the sequence uh, tends to, to 0 as n goes to infinity. Then if you have a bounded neighborhood of 0, so let b be a bounded neighborhood of 0, then this uh, family of sets delta n b is a local base. To prove this statement, we will use the fact that the topology on our topological vector space is translation invariant, and thus to show that we have a local base, it is enough to show that we have a local base at zero, so let's prove that we have a local base at zero. This means that for every neighborhood of zero, let's pick one and call it u. So u is a neighborhood of zero. We have to find one of uh, at least one of these sets delta v that lies inside u. Now, since the neighborhood v is bounded by assumption, we can find a scalar s such that v is a subset of t times u for all scalars t greater than s. Now, since the sequence here of the deltas uh, tends to zero, uh, one over delta n gets uh, very big if, uh, if delta n gets very small. So in particular, if you pick um, s delta n, uh, if you pick delta n uh, large, um, small enough, then you have that uh, s delta n is, is um, smaller than 1. And um, this means that b is inside 1 over delta n u, because uh, 1 over delta n u is bigger than s if you pick delta n small enough. And we can re rewrite this as delta n v is inside u. So in fact, um, all but finally many of these sets delta v are inside u and thus they form a local base. And this concludes the proof of the theorem. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.